Hey guys, Joanne here with Newegg TV. I'm here to do an overview on this EVGA GTX 560 Ti graphics card, and this is the Super Clocked Edition. A couple of things to note before getting into the box. This card does come with a super clock core clock of 900 megahertz and a stock clock of 823 megahertz. And it comes with 10, uh, 1024 megabytes of GDDR5 memory, which is super clocked at 1053 megahertz and has a stock clock of 1002 uh, uh, megahertz. And it also has a shader clock that's super clocked at 1800 megahertz. This also features uh, NVIDIA 3D Vision Surround PhysX. Uh, it's also compatible with DirectX 11 and you get two-way um, SLI. Couple more things. Comes with 384 CUDA cores and has support for OpenGL 4.1 and it comes with a three-year warranty. Here's everything that comes in the box. We have the card itself, which I will go over in just a little bit, but first a look at the accessories. It comes with this huge EVGA poster, which looks pretty cool. And let me just go ahead and fold this up again. Oops, crinkled it. Okay, uh, moving right along. There is a little warning note telling you to please allow the graphics card to cool for a minimum of two minutes after operation before removing it from your system. And we have your quick start guide as well as user guide. And here is your uh, case badge as well as driver and software CD. Now for the cables, it comes with two six pin power cables and we have your mini HDMI to HDMI adapter your DVI to VGA adapter and that covers it this card comes with a 240 hertz max refresh rate and you'll need a minimum 500 watt power supply and two six pin PCI connectors in order to power this card. It comes with 134.8 gigabytes per second memory bandwidth and 57.6 gigatexels texture fill rate. Now I have a ruler here with me so I can go ahead and measure from the bracket to the edge of the card. It's about nine inches and it also comes with a 75 millimeter fan and a uh, closed plastic shroud, but there are uh, ventilation holes all around the edges. So you can see here where air can uh, pass through. And if you take a peek here, you can see the aluminum heat sink that's situated just beneath the fan. Now, it also comes with a PCI Express 2.0 connector, a black PCB, and here we have your NVIDIA SLI connector. On this end, your two six pin power connectors. And finally, on the rear, give me a second, we have some ventilation holes for where your air exhausts, a mini HDMI port, and two dual link DVI connectors. You get a max analog resolution of 2048 by 1536 and a max digital resolution of 2560 by 1600. That wraps up our overview on this EVGA GTX 560 Ti graphics card. I'm Joanne, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our New Egg YouTube channel. Thanks for watching New Egg TV, and we'll see you next time.